Welcome back to the Fenrir Vimarana Show. My name is Devochel and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Vimaranas. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Vimaranas. So, if you're a lifelong Vimarana lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Vimarana video. Now, let's dive into five amazing facts about this incredible breed. Did you know that Vimarana puppies are born with dark tiger stripes all over their bodies? These stripes disappear a few days after birth. Another amazing fact about this breed is that a Vimarana is born with blue eyes, but after two to three months, their eye color changes from blue to gray, light amber or blue gray. Vimaranas gain their nickname, the gray ghost dog, because of their coat color, which is a very light gray color and also because of their ghostly, silent hunting style. Moving on, Vimaranas are extremely clever dogs and are often referred to as the dog with a human brain. If they are not properly mentally or physically stimulated, then they can become a problem. They can very quickly learn to open crates and gates, steal treats and outsmart their human owners. They are very good at problem solving, so mental stimulation toys such as a Kong or puzzle toys are a must with this breed. Vimaranas were originally bred as hunting dogs and even now can become obsessed with masking their scent by rolling in unpleasant things whilst out on walks to fool their prey. This is an old habit used to prevent any potential prey from sensing their presence. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free principles to the perfect puppy course there'll be a link down in the description box below thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success so i can't wait to see you over there again there'll be a link in the description box below i'll see you on that course following on from this let's touch upon the vimarana's excellent sense of smell they have been used in many search and rescue missions including missing person cases one Vimarana called Dingo in particular is well known for his help during the Cold War. Dingo was selected to help sniff out small parts of missiles coated squalene and shark liver oil fired in the desert by scientists so they could recover and study the pieces of shrapnel. Whilst doing this, Dingo wore a special jacket which was filled with ice cubes to keep him cool during the summer months. Another interesting fact about the breed did you know that long-haired versions of the Vimarana exist? Their hair can be wavy, straight and smooth. Although they are quite uncommon, they were bred to specifically hunt waterfowl such as ducks and geese. The long hair would keep them warm and protected them when jumping into the water. All Vimaranas have webbed feet that can help them swim effortlessly through water. This was engineered into the breed to make them become better hunters. Our final fact about Vimaranas. Were you aware that they are one of the world's fastest dog breeds? They can reach running speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Because of this, as well as their excellent sense of smell, they were used by royalty for hunting both large and small game, including bear, boar and deer, as well as foxes, rabbits and fowl. However, when owning a Vimarana, you must be aware that due to their ability to run at pace, you must have an exceptional recall before considering letting them off as they can easily outrun their owners. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two 
dedicated Weimarana videos coming out every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Weimarana Show.